Where do things stand right now? Kristen, Izzy, things are definitely a little bit tight right now, but I will say we've seen a little bit of improvement since where we were a couple of hours ago. So we'll take a look here. This is ERCOT's supply and demand graph, and this updates in real time. ERCOT, again, the body that oversees our state's power grid. This blue line is going to show you demand, right? What we need, purple capacity. You always want the purple on top of the blue. And you'll see when it was about 4 o'clock, I mean, things got really tight right there. And very slowly, we've added more space in between those two lines. This is where we are right now this vertical gray line now at one point a couple of hours ago this blue demand line was over this fat purple line which is that forecasted range of capacity but you'll notice now i mean it's on the lower edge of course there is a little bit of overlap right there but it's on the lower edge of this the purple just barely over that blue line of course something that we're going to keep an eye on moving forward as Kristen, as he mentioned, we are still under that conservation alert until 9 p.m. So we'll take a look. This graph is yellow just to signify that we are under that alert. Normally it's green. Our operating reserves, they've hovered around this number all day today. And just one key note when you're looking at it, if this were to go below 1000 under the right conditions, that's when we can see those controlled outages. But of course, Kristen, as will keep a close eye on that all night long. All right. Thank you very much, Ariel. Uh, we're trying to get some clarification tonight on something the uh, Farmersville Police and Fire Department just posted. The city says it's going to start rolling blackouts tonight at 8 o'clock. They say this is at the request of ERCOT, but we reached out to ERCOT and ERCOT officials tell us this decision is not driven by them. Uh, we're reaching out back out to the city right now to try to get some clarification. 